Hey, welcome to Fireside Gaming. I'm Billum, and today we are checking out Star Hearts Launch Point. This is a platforming game. It might be Metroidvania in style. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, it's one the wife uh, had played and suggested I check out. Um, it's already, as you can see, it's got the pixel style, and it's got a really fun opening, and that logo is really, really cleverly designed of how it makes the whole Star Hearts thing together while also being the A for Star and the A and R for Hearts. I don't know, just kind of noticing that. Uh, okay, so we're trying out a slice of this game, and basically our hero is Prin, heroine is Prin, and it's going to drop us a little ways into the game, so we actually have an extra ability. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get into this. Let's see how space travel is treating you, Prin. A quick warm-up warm will make sure you're still operating at max capacity. Jump to the platform above you. Holding through your jump can help you reach even higher. Okay, so small jumps, big jumps. Easy mode. Not bad. Holding crouch and attempting to jump will allow you to pass through pl thin platforms. Come on down. Easy mode. All right. Your harmful powers are not permitted in the common areas of this vessel, but here in the VR chamber, you're free to exercise your might. Flex your energy burst on that target. Looking good, you can release an energy burst low to the ground while crouching or above by pointing up. When airborne, you can also release directly below yourself. Okay, so we've got four directional shooting. Okay. A normal burst of energy won't reach far away targets. Try to concentrate your energy for a more powerful blast. It's funny because they're not specifically telling me to hold the button down, but like, you, you know, if you've played games, you know to do that. Oh wait, we've got the basics. Let's go for more advanced movement. That is one of the things I saw was supposed to be very, like, platformy, jumpy, like a speedrunner's dream. Alright. Slippery than usual, sliding along the ground. Alright. How do we slide? Okay. Your companion is surprising the aerobatic as well. Do you think you can jump out of that slide? Oh, so... I don't think I can. Okay, there we go. Look at you go. I noticed a buildup of energy at the tips of your toes. Hmm. What if you jump first, then attempt to slide? Oh, okay, okay. Foot energy proved to be... You know, damaging. You can really stomp out... Infestations with this moveset. Any influence on your energy projectiles? Give me a charged up blast up that shit. Oh, okay. Fascinating. Blast splits in two. Uh, travel similar force along the intersecting plane. All the information he needs to know. Alright. Our new abil abilities, trials, and skills. Access them anytime from the VR console. No room for error, got a ship to run, you can relish the accolades you earn between missions as the difficult task ahead will certainly be taxing on your morale. Morale was highlighted, I don't know if that's actually something to keep in mind. I'm not allowed to shoot stuff. Fantastic work securing the shipwreck swamp. I knew you had the right stuff. We break ground on the water slides immediately. Okay. All right. Combat application potential, destructively and offensively. No, we don't need to do another tutorial. I will say that, like, the overly, uh, optimistic, friendly, charging attitude leads me to believe that this is definitely going to be, like, a case of, like, my shipmates are evil or something. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we're going to the blue one. I don't know, 
Something about it. It's almost too friendly. I mean, if this just turns out to be, like, purely friendly, not any kind of, like, we're actually evil in the background, I'm okay with that. I, I enjoy stuff like that still. Okay, we can set our own respawn points with L2 on solid ground to place one. Each point has the material to print three corporeal hosts before exploding. Friend can carry nine respawn points while planet side. Proceed with caution to swap between friends' available power stances. Use L1 and R1. Okay. Oh, it wants me to set a respawn point. Okay. What's up? Welcome to base. Look, cool. let's see. Three pronged metamouth that makes its home here. Calcium barbs. Uh, okay, so we can move that local flora and fauna. Oh, it slows down for a second there. I meant to press the dive button for the kick. Yeah, that. I'm going to use up all of these points. But I want to try to bounce off of this. Okay, I can. I was just being bad. No, thank you. go that far. Okay. So, I will note that it feels really floaty. Um, that, that'll be a preference thing to if you're okay with that. I feel like it's a little too... Like, acceleration when jumping feels a little off. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do that. But we'll take it. I thought, yeah, that was my bad. The acceleration, specifically when jumping, like this, because that platform was moving, I didn't mean to drop. That's on me. Alright, let's try not to lose this time. I mean, I get nine of them, so, like, I might as well. Yeah, like, I don't have a dash. I have that kick instead.
to go. Okay, so those leaves aren't solid ground, noted. It wasn't letting me set a thing there. Um, let's see. These are gonna disappear. on me. Hmm. So I don't I don't dislike what I'm playing so far, by the way. It feels almost I don't know, maybe it's because I'm coming in part way through. But, like, it almost feels like there's a bit much going on. Like, specifically with how much, how much like, spikes, instant kill spikes, are a thing. Um, because they're just, they're everywhere, and, and one hit of them will kill you, even though, like, three hits, you know, is what it takes to normally kill you from projectiles. Enemies, if enemies hit you. Like, with their bodies, it does more damage and it just seems to kill you. Which is fine and dandy. Um, I guess I've been playing the dodge game. I could start playing the kill things game. Oh, that was two hits. I'm going the wrong way. Dang it. Now I have to jump up that whenever I do my point again. But... How do I put it? Obviously the game's going for like an NES style, which, you know, means it's probably aiming for an NES style of difficulty as well. And to just be upfront about that, um, that means it might not be for me, honestly. Um, I have played and enjoyed the OG Mega Man's since I was a kid. Three is my personal favorite. I have loved that game. Uh, I don't go back and replay it often, though. Very rarely. Because... It can just be a little frustrating to have to restart so much. And granted, this has this checkpoint system in place, so... Yeah. But I also don't know how big these planets are, so I'm kind of, like, hesitant to use them too frequently. Might even, I almost feel like I'm using them too frequently right now, you know? It is nice that the system basically allows for you to kill enemies, which can make your run easier the next time through. So that's not a bad thing, and I, maybe that's just the way the game's meant to progress and I've been trying to play the dodge game too much. I don't know. I just, I am not a fan of instant kill spikes, though. Like, they're all over the place, and it's kind of like, this is a bit, a bit too much. I guess the real question is, is there any reason to be normal me? Because I've got a power now, and it's kind of like... Do I ever want to not use it? I'm gonna set a checkpoint here. Like I said, I already feel like I'm using them too frequently, but...
and I feel like... So I have this slide, and I want to use it. Like, I really do. But I feel like the demo dropping me in with an ability makes me, like... I'm still trying to get the basics down, and it's introduced this, like, slide mechanic that's... On top of already having to deal with, like, you know, how fast you can die. And there's spikes everywhere, and, like, the slide thing is supposed to be, like, fast movement. But I'm, I'm hesitant to try that out, because I'm only just, you know, getting the hang of the controls. Which is to say that, like, maybe it's not that the game itself is overly difficult or, like, you know, bad with its level design or anything. As much as it is that they've thrown me into a situation, like... Demo-wise. Because here, here's the thing. That animation, from what I can tell, once I start that kick animation, I'm, yeah, I'm, like, I don't see any way to lock. Yeah, no, I'm locked into that. And that's, I would like to be able to cancel it. Oh, here we go, here we go. You can tap it again to cancel it, it seems. Okay, okay. Yeah, the levels just don't feel like they very much promote using this uh, slide mechanic. And yet, you know, I, I've only just been given it in this level, and this is the only level in the demo, so... I'm getting a little bit of mixed messages in this regard. This is just, there's just so much instant death spikes and platforms and... Non-stop enemies, like this might be... This might be a little much for me. Like if this game finds its niche audience, then like, you know, I'm sure they'll love it. But I feel like there's just a little bit too much going on here for me. It's it, it's the it's it's the spikes everywhere. The level design is really really I think my biggest hang up. We found a thing. Target in the wall. Too fast, leap, corrosive darts from tail, deploying emergency respawn ball. Okay. Oh! Yep, okay. I'm seeing the... Oh, I didn't even notice the enemies on the phone. Okay, jumps. Let me guess, they spawn back anyway. Yeah, they do. This is a bit much to throw you into on a demo. Holy crap. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I might have noticed how I explode a little bit. You're a team. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So. At that point, I think I have basically just failed, and now I need to go and restart the level again? Is what I'm seeing? Is that. Is that what I'm getting? Cause here's the thing, it I don't like I don't like the respawn ball being in the boss room, right? I already think that is a bad idea. Because you're just like throwing me right into it and I'm not even getting like a chance to recollect myself after getting 
killed, you know? Like, that's... That's a bit of a, a mistake, in my opinion. And this is already, like, a very... Very punishing, high expectations on the player to, like... You better master these controls, and you better do it fast. I feel like the kick is definitely something I need to be utilizing more. But I do have a little bit of a better grip on the situation, so... Maybe it is just a case of, like... It's not that the game is bad as much as the demo might not have been properly thought out. And as I adjust to the controls, this will get easier? Maybe? I don't know, that boss battle still seemed like... Like, the basic patterns were not so horrible that I couldn't deal with it. But it was that on top of the extra enemies, on top of the spawn point being in the boss room. Especially because, like, that feels a little punishing, because I, I was conservative, evidently, with my respawn bulbs. And I had, like, three or four left before ever entering the boss room. So basically, those get taken away from me at the boss room, which feels like a punishment. I feel like I should be, you know, rewarded with more lives to attempt the boss with, rather than um, only still getting those three lives. Like, let me set up spawn points outside the boss room is what I'm getting at. And then let me use my spawn points that I've saved up specifically for that. Because otherwise it just feels like I'm being punished a bit unfairly. In my opinion. Sorry, I had to like focus there for a second. Yeah, I, I knew I wasn't going to get those. Which way was I going? Yeah, I'm going this way. I killed most of everything, so the progress through this time will be easier. No, I didn't. I was meaning to jump and shoot down a lot. It's okay. We've still got... We've still got respawns. It's just gonna take me a little longer to get through this. I should have set... A spawn point. I got caught up in playing and didn't set one. And I mean, I really should, because as I'm saying, like... As long as you get to the boss... You know, you might as well just use spawn points willy-nilly. Like, like here, boom. We'll put one down right here. Might as well. Because there's no sense in trying to conserve spawn points. I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little frustrated by the messages this game is sending. I don't think... I don't know. Like I said, I do think it's being... I pressed down again. Ugh. I understand why they didn't put slide and down. Like, slide and, uh... Sorry. Why they didn't put slide on down plus jump? Because I wondered that. Because my my brain immediately went into uh, classic Mega Man mode, where I was like, "Oh yes," and now I press down and jump to slide. And when it didn't do that, I was kind of like, "Oh, we're not doing it that way." Okay. That was what. Oof, that was what I meant about like, man. Sometimes the momentum in this feels really weird. Isn't this just wonderful? Okay, I didn't think I was going to get that. Alright. Alright. Kill everything we see. Progress through the area. Won't be too bad. It won't be too bad. Let's 
at another spawn point here because there's no reason to not. We go. <sighs> I had to dodge it. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Still got five of these. No, uh, we'll just let the cycle reset. <laughs> I'm not that aggressive right now. Is that another one? Just in case we need it. point here because yet again the way the system is set up we might as well Maybe not, maybe not below, below, but... I'll just kick you. <laughs> All right, we drop. Yeah, okay, we're going into the boss room. I still have two of these points left, right? But it's not gonna matter because he's gonna set up this emergency one, which is then going to what's happening now. I tried to... Oh my goodness, did you really need to do that?
And that's game, right? Or not not yet. Alright, okay. We're just gonna do that. We have a friend. I can turn green now. And I can evidently jump on the wall. And grab. Well, that's fun. This is <laughs> I would have rather had this ability for the demo than. Oh yeah. Yeah, give give me this ability. This is what I would have sold the game on, not not the slide mechanic that was like really wonky and hard to get used to. You know, sell people on the grapple mechanic. Yeah, because, like, I'm already just kind of, like... <laughs> okay, alright. Yeah, sell me, sell me on the grapple mechanic, not on the, the weird slide mechanic. Okay, so can I do... Take me to a grapple tutorial. Let's look at this. Yeah, okay, okay. Mouth rope, blah blah blah. Yep. We can cling to walls. Can we do it to, like, multiple surfaces? Like, I mean, I guess I knew that. There's not a limitation on wall jumping. Okay, so if I do it while grounded, I'll still have a second one in air. Okay, okay, that's fun. Oh, oh, I like that. Little tri beam. Yeah, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely should have done the grapple for the demo because that was much more fun than the slide mechanic. Well, you know what? Okay, so. I played this, uh, I'm gonna call this good for the demo, not get this too long. Uh, presentation looks sweet, I'm, I'm all for that, it looks really nice, I like the sci-fi setting, I like sci-fi settings, especially these kind of like, overly bright neon, like that, I'm game for that. Um, the platforming is a little odd, and I, like, it, it's not bad, but there's some momentum things to it that make it kind of feel a little weird at times. Um, if we're talking about the gimmicks, the slide gimmicks, all right. The grapple gimmicks, a lot of fun. Um, I, I would play with that a lot more. The sliding was okay. I could, I, I, I see this game as like a speedrunner's fantasy. I, I feel like it could very much have a crowd that will enjoy it for that. Um, for the average player, I think there's, I think, I think the level design maybe gets in the way because there's just such a heavy reliance off of like spike diff like spike traps for instant deaths and stuff like that it's definitely made with like a slow progress in mind killing enemies setting up points and stuff um i don't like how bosses just throw you in like i would rather start outside of the boss room but I mean, at the same time, it does keep the damage on the boss, so I can understand where it's coming from there. Even then, I barely made it through that boss. And this is what they're showing off for the demo, which makes me be kind of like, man, I don't... How how tough are the other bosses going to be? So... I feel like maybe that's a little much with the way this game is set up, and I don't like that... Like, it set up my charge... It set up my point in the boss room, and then I lost out on, like, my other points where it's like, I should have been able to go into this boss with, like nine lives not three lives and i 
I feel like it's kind of punishing the player for not setting down more points, but at the same time, like, I didn't feel like... I felt like I was being too... Like, you... Like, too, uh... I'm trying to think of the word. Lenient or something, that's not quite it. But I, I was putting points down too often when I first played, and then I got to the boss room and I still had plenty of those respawn points left, and I was like, oh, I guess I'm not being you know, not using them enough, but then I also didn't get to just reuse them. I don't know. Uh, these are things that the devs can work out and everything like that. This isn't, you know, it's a demo. It might not be, you know, a representation of the final game. They'll figure some things out there along the way. I, I definitely think I would institute something different for the boss rooms, though. Like, even if it's you get, like, your emergency respawn inside the boss room and you get to go at it three times, right? And then if you fail... Set me to my bulb outside the boss room and make me restart the boss from scratch with three lives again inside the boss room. I think that is a much better way to go about it and that would result in a... a more fair feeling to actually get time to learn the boss's patterns and stuff without having to redo the whole level. Because as it is, I'm not going to want to keep redoing levels. If I get to a boss, I get overwhelmed, I die those three times, and then even though I had spare bulbs on me, now I'm back on the ship and I have to do the level over again even if they're not that long because this isn't like it's not like those levels were that level was super long it's still frustrating and I, I wouldn't want to have to deal with it so maybe that's something the devs should look into um, that's just my advice obviously I don't design games I just like playing them and that's you know something that I think would be a positive change for this game but uh, with, with that said and everything like that, uh, this is the, I think this is the last Next Fest game I'm going to be checking out. Um, I had like a couple others I wanted to, but today I think is the cutoff day, which Next Fest should really be like two weeks. There's way too many demos to try and get through. But um, I am still working on other stuff if you guys are interested in checking that out. I'm working on a Digimon World 3 review and a few other random things. Uh, retrospectives are my main thing if you happen to be here for the Let's Play and watching me do this stuff for Next Fest. I do reviews on this channel, uh, mostly retro reviews every once in a while. I do a modern review here or there and some indie game reviews. So those are definitely things that you can stick around for. And uh, well, until next time, I, I hope you all have a good one. And uh, thank you for stopping by. Take it easy.